Blizzard re just released some information a couple minutes ago about uh, the new hero talents for next expansion. And it's something that I, I really want to look at. I feel like I have FOMO right now because I don't know what's going on. Hero talents are new self-contained talents that tree uh self-contained talent trees that players unlock at level 71 hero talents build on the abilities and talents of the current classes and specializations this is like the new feature for the expansion basically so instead of messing around with the talent trees that they've been tweaking the whole expansion they're going to add like i guess another talent tree called hero talents that basically combine two specs um so the one that they did for mage that we're going to have access to i think is frost fire so it's like the talent tree that frost and fire share uh, which is an option which it seems cool so i want to check it out players can choose a single hero talent tree to activate on a character and these talents can be changed in the same way class talents can be currently changed in the game there are three hero talent trees for each class ex uh, excepting druid uh, with four and demon hunter with two each specialization has two hero talent trees they can choose between and each of these trees is available uh, as an option for two specializations for example warriors have three hero talent tree options slayer colossus mountain thane Theory has access to Mountain Thane and Slayer protection. Yeah, so basically, uh, if you have three specs, like for Mage or Warrior, I guess we can just use the Warrior example because it's right here. Like Arms is going to have a talent tree that shares with Fury, and Fury is going to have one that shares with Arms. And then on the opposite side of things, Arms and Protection will share one, uh, and Protection and Fury will share one. So um, it's kind of cool. I don't know. I'd like we'll we'll see. Um, there are 11 nodes in the talent tree. The first three unlocks uh, with a system at level 71, and you can earn one talent point per level. Uh, so you get every talent in the tree by level 80. Hero talents will have starter builds available and say builds. Uh, wait, do you just get every talent? What does that say? Hero talents will have starter builds available, and your save talents will build. Uh, so you get every talent in the tree by level 80. Wait, so what? It's not even a talent tree. You just get all the passives. It's basically like a passive tree. I guess there's uh, there actually is some choices. There's choice nodes, so that's where the choices come in, I suppose. Uh, each hero talent starts with a keystone talent that introduces the core mechanic and concept for the tree. This could be a new ability, an enhancement to an existing ability, or cooldown, or a new buff you can trigger. The bottom uh, talent of each tree is a capstone talent that builds on the core themes of the tree uh, or adds new power to the keystone. Each tree will offer or modify some class utility, including defensive bonuses that are useful to all specializations. We're aiming for all these trees to be about equal in the amount of utility and defensiveness they provide. Trees for characters that can take on tanking role may have some additional defensive bonuses that will be less valuable to healers or damage dealers. Such uh, as bonuses to tank talents or cooldowns, three or four nodes in each tree will be a choice node where you can choose between two options. Hero talents are meant to add enough damage or healing throughput to be significant without being so important that these new talents overshadow your current class and spec tree talents. Most hero talent trees uh, add new visual effects to both classes, both to communicate what they're doing and to bring in uh, their class fantasies to life. However, these are not completely visual reworks. Your class and spec trees have their main... Okay, cool. Great. Anyways, I'm going to skip through some of this stuff. Frostfire. Okay, this is this is the mage one. This is the one I care the most about. So we got Frost Fire Mage. So this is the talent tree that Frost and Fire Mage are going to share. So we start off with Frost Fire Mastery. Your damaging fire spells generate one stack of fire mastery, and frost spells generate one stack of frost mastery. Fire mastery increases your haste by 1%, and frost mastery increases your mastery by 1% for 12 seconds, stacking up to eight times each. Adding stacks does not refresh the duration. Okay, so you're going to be able to... Okay, cool. So you're going to get haste and mastery by using the different spells. All right, cool. So uh, just so you guys know, for mage, I don't know if you see this in the top right. Uh, so fire and arcane is going to be sun fury. Arcane and frost is spell slinger. And then fire and frost is frost fire, obviously. Okay, so let's check out the left side of the tree first. I guess we can check them all out. The le uh, left side pathing. We get Imbued Warding. Blazing Barrier also casts Ice Barrier. <laughs> okay. Uh, Frost. Ice Barrier also casts Blazing Barrier. So they're bringing back a Triune Ward. That, that's an interesting decision because uh, I feel like Triune Ward had some massive balancing issues. So bringing that back is a strange choice. I don't think... I... Whatever. Um, meltdown. You melt slightly out of your ice block. Uh, you melt slightly out of your ice block and ice cold, allowing you to move slowly during ice block and increase your movement speed over time. Ice block and ice cold trigger a blast wave when they end. What the frick? 
That's kind of cool. So you can move an ice block and then you blast wave people away when it fades. That's neat. Um, all right. What's the center tree? The center tree is frost fire bolt. Launches a bolt of frost fire at the enemies, dealing frost fire damage, slowing movement speed, and causing an additional frost fire damage over eight seconds. Frost fire bolt generates a stack of both fire mastery and frost mastery. That's kind of cool. I've always liked frost fire bolt, so I'm a fan. On the right side of the tree, we have elemental affinity. The cooldown of frost spells is reduced by 10%. The cooldown of fire spells is reduced by 30%. Okay. And that's on a choice with flame and frost. Cauterize resets the cooldown of your frost spells with a base cooldown shorter than four minutes when it activates. Bolt snap additionally resets the cooldown of your fire spells. That's kind of interesting. All right, so far I like it. Um, isothermic core, Comet Storm now also calls, calls down a meteor. That's fucking cool. Meteor now also calls down a Comet Storm. Jeez Louise! That's kind of cool. I like that. All right. Severe temperatures. Casting frost or fire spells increases the damage of your next frost fire bolt by 6%. Or frost fire bolts cast time is reduced by 10%. Okay. Frost fire fusion. Infusion. Your frost and fire spells have a chance to trigger an additional bolt of frost fire dealing frost fire damage. This effect uh, generates frost fire mastery when activated. Okay. So far, interesting. Uh, these are a little bit deeper down in the tree. We have excess frost fire. Reaching maximum stacks of frost fire mastery causes your next Phoenix Flames to also cast an Ice Nova. What the frick? At 200% effectiveness? When you consume excess frost, the cooldown of Meteor is reduced by 5 seconds. Frost. So if I'm a Frost Mage, reaching maximum stacks of frost fire mastery causes your next Flurry to cast down Ice Nova. Wait, what? You would expect it to be a little bit different. The flurry cast down ice note. That's kind of weird. Oh, excess frost. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, when you consume excess frost, the cooldown of common storm is reduced. Okay. Frost fire uh, empowerment. Your frost and fire spells have a chance to activate frost fire empowerment, causing your next frost fire bolt to always critically strike, explode for 80% of the damage to nearby enemies, and be instant cast. Little brain freeze action. Okay. Little brain freeze action. Uh, excess fire, reaching maximum stacks of fire mastery causes your next fire blast to apply living bomb. When this living bomb explodes, it reduces the cooldown of Phoenix Flames. Oh my god. Reaching maximum stacks of fire mastery causes your next ice lens to apply living bomb. What the frick? So the only thing I'll say about uh, some of this stuff is for PvP specifically, Having your rotational spells just AoE a bunch is something that I've been I I don't like that much. So having like your rotational spells just you know your ice lens puts up living bomb. Eh, it sounds cool and it'll be good in Mythic Plus, but in PvP I feel like it's problematic because there's no there's already such little finesse to Frost Mage with how much AOE you have to do, right? You have to drop an orb and you have to drop a blizzard and you're using Ring of Fire and you're using Ice Nova and you're using Comet Storm and uh, when you Glacial, it cleaves two targets and there's AOE in everything you do. So like the finesse of like isolating a target and not breaking crowd control is really non-existent. Well, it's not non-existent, but it's really tough. Um, anyways, the last and final is Flash Freeze Burn. Frostfire Empowerment grants you maximum benefits of Frostfire Mastery and refreshes its duration. Activating Combustion or Icy Veins grants you Frostfire Empowerment. Okay, so if you use Combustion, you get an instant Frostfire Bolt. Or if you use Veins, you get an instant Frostfire Bolt. So these are cool. Like, maybe a little bit too much AoE for my liking, but uh, I don't know. I think there's some interesting things in here. Uh, and that's the Frostfire one. And I'm sure this stuff will get tweaked too. So that's between Fire and Frost. Frostfire... Um, and if you guys want to check out more of this stuff, they have, uh, like disc priest, um, we'll, we'll put the link in here. We got disc priest, um, and a bunch of the hunter specs as well. So as more of the mage stuff comes out, um, we'll definitely check out more of this, but yeah. What do you guys think about this? Do you guys like the direction this is going or what? You think this is cool? Do you think it's weird? Cause this is like one of the big new features of the next expansion. So yeah, definitely let me know.